Welcome to Slow and Steady, the podcast where you, where you get to follow along as we build product in public. Each week, we'll give you an honest peek into our lives as we share our struggles, our wins, and everything in between. I'm Benedicta, and I'm feeling sick. And I'm Benedict. Today is April 18th. This is episode number 177, and I'm feeling productive. And well, let me tell you, you also sound... Good for you. I do sound <laughs> sick. I mean, yes. No, not yes. But uh, I also did... Yeah, because I had to call in sick for my uh, bank job. And I was like in on the couch all Thursday last week. So it's been like... I thought I would be done with this by now. But this cold is just sitting really hard. But anyway, I was... And then I announced my Atsera job like properly on that Thursday. And I was like, you know, on my couch, like talking to people online all day. And I was like, this feels, <laughs> you know, like, I, you know, I definitely know I can't like substantially code or like do any substantial code, but it's going to be fine. You know, it's fine just talking to people online, right? It's a different mind, um, mindset, mind game. <laughs> see i can't do it um and then we did the stream that night and i was like i also sounded really sick on that so i was like this is good because then <laughs> nobody thinks i'm like faking <laughs> calling like fake calling in sick yeah. um yeah and then on stream i like i had problems doing a for loop and i was like okay i'm 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 pretty i feel pretty good about my decision not to you know bill somebody seven hours for coding today because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if i'd done that it wouldn't have been especially well done code i guess um but yeah right. so um is that is that how it works like if you don't work you don't don't get paid well i can always like if i get sick like now i should probably because i have my own company so i'm now living in norway if i'd gotten a doctor's note i could have gotten you know, a sick leave from my own company and then get paid right. from the government like that. But, um, or not really, because the, the the employer has to cover the first 14 days and I am my own right. employer. So, but, but this has happened before. I don't know if you want to go down this rabbit hole, but I should know by now that I should just go because it turns out if you're sick again and again, then the employer's responsibilities kind of, like they put them together. So even if you're well for a couple of weeks and then you get sick again, there's some rules and I don't remember them. Mm -hmm. But since I had a concussion and then the stomach bug and then this cold, like, you know, at some mm -hmm. point I might have been able to start <laughs> getting <laughs> getting some sick leave, sick money from from the government. But then um, you know, you think like, oh, it's it's gonna pass. It's gonna pass so fast, it doesn't really matter. But um, you know. If this happens again, I'm going to be running to the doctor the first day and be like, this this can't be happening. Yeah, yeah that makes but, sense. Yeah. Spring is coming. No, I shouldn't say that because then it starts snowing. Spring is not coming. Um, but yeah. But you're back to you because you're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, spring is coming for sure. We had some nice weather like Monday to Friday last week and then Saturday and Sunday, of course, weather was shitty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it always feels like I don't get much, much nice weather on the weekend. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, last week has been good, mostly playing catch up on stuff. Um, but I feel like I'm on top of everything again. So this week, um, we are planning to roll out a new reporting feature to all of our customers. Um, no splashy marketing launch or anything just yet, but um, enabling the feature flag for everyone is on the roadmap for basically for Friday or something like that. There's only a handful of things we need to do. Uh, and the one thing I'm working on is um, uh, basically up until now, like all of the reporting we had was basically showing totals um, in, in, in tables and stuff like that. So when you'd see a list of broadcasts, you'd see, hey, this is the total number of uh, of broadcasts or messages sent. This is the total number of clicks. This is the total number of opens and so on. And this is still, as of today, is still backed by that old implementation. And uh, my task for this week is getting that data from the new implementation so we can basically rip out the old implementation, which, yeah, it's basically doing the same thing, but on a way, like, way coarser level, just on the totals. Um, and what's 
coolest and that was an idea by leo in the early days in the early days of of this project is um we store we store the data at uh, at different resolutions so at, at different granularity so we store stuff minutely and then we do a roll up to daily and he had a clever idea of rolling up by infinity basically um so instead of having a timestamp in that call in, in that third table we're just like grouping by uh, message source, like broadcast or campaign message. And then the roll up is on everything ever, which is the current number, like it's the current mm. total of, of messages delivered and stuff like that. Um, so it was actually pretty easy to, to, to get that built in because like we have the system where like, data enters into the, the finest resolution and then it gets flushed into like the next one and the next one and the next one. And the last one in that list is now the infinity uh, resolution where you then get the current number. And mm. uh, because everything is, is real time and like calculated, it's always the exact number of records for that particular type in the database and the exact number of clicks and all of that. So that's pretty exciting because um, it's, basically a yeah a side effect of the way we built this mm -hmm. and um now it's just a matter just a matter of uh, <laughs> getting that data store first in the tables but because it's now a separate table with foreign keys to the origin like to the source tables in theory it's just a join so when we get like 20 broadcasts we can join that with the totals table and we get to broadcast and their current real-time numbers so that's kind of exciting. And that's what I'm building this week or integrating this week. And then we are done and ready to, to ship this. Um, and uh, I'm happy that it's, that it's finally done. <laughs> but it sounds like it, you landed on something you're very happy with. Yeah, for the most part. I, I think the, the solution is pretty nice. I'm, I'm still wrestling with the implementation details a little bit i feel like it would be cool to spend like another week or two or maybe three on cleaning <laughs> this up even more <laughs> but it's at the stage where i can't justify spending more time on it anymore like it's doing what it's doing it's good enough implementation wise like it's still pretty clean code it's it's manageable in the sense that we can we can work with that in the future and like make changes to it and it's not like too overwhelming. But I'm always, I mean, we talked about this uh, clean code and elegant co <laughs> elegant code uh, uh, makes me happy. So there's always stuff to improve, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I, maybe the I know that shouldn't I should be, stop now. Maybe the t-shirt shouldn't be clean code makes me happy. It should be clean code makes Benedict happy. And then listeners of slow and steady can walk around with <laughs> clean code makes Benedict happy t-shirts. Yeah, maybe that's that's the way to do it. Yeah, but uh, money in the bank makes me happy as well. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather spend time on something else. Yes. Um, so, well, you yeah. know, if people buy lots of these T-shirts, then you <laughs> can money in the back as well. Yes, true. <laughs> um, Hands up, everyone who wants a wants a uh, <laughs> clean code makes Benedict. <laughs> if you want a clean code makes Benedict happy T-shirt um, or sticker, um, let me know in a DM on Twitter, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I might make it happen. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so yeah that's the main Anyhow. thing i'm working on this week um mm -hmm. and then the other thing we started thinking about is how do we launch this for real um and the tricky thing is with this particular feature it feels like this is not a feature that we can make a big buzz about. Like, for example, when we introduced the marketing feature, like it made sense to go to Twitter and be like, hey, you can now uh, do marketing email with user list and mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. But with this particular feature, it feels like it almost feels like table stakes in, in, in the sense that 
if we launch it, make a big fuss about it, then people will just be like, like, wait, what? This wasn't a part of the product from day one. At least that that's what it feels like. Um, and maybe I'm but, wrong about that. But you did have something. But you have some reporting. We had well. something, yeah. yeah. yeah like, what about you just doing... have like fancy reporting. Yeah, but what about doing like, you know, screenshot comparisons? Like, this is what we had. This is what we have now. Like, look at, you know, make it like an improvement kind of thing instead of a... Oh, oh my god we now have reporting which is kind of weird uh, yeah. but if you have like oh you know look at this beautiful reporting that but you still feel like that's you know everybody else has already has beautiful reporting and it would feel weird that you're yeah i mean we're definitely no matter what we're not going to do a product hunt launch about mm -hmm. it uh, that that's no i'm i'm just thinking but, little um, like tweets you've got a you know, point where you, yeah 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 we can we should, yeah, and that's something we've been thinking about as well. Like instead of fr phrasing it or announcing as a, as we now have reporting, uh, announce it as we have better reporting, improved reporting, like more detailed mm -hmm. reporting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a, this is something we are considering. And then the other thing I've been thinking about is because in itself it's not as fancy of a feature. Um, maybe I should write a blog post about how we built this and the solution we came up with uh, to implement this because I feel like at some stage, almost all companies, at least companies that deal with some sort of data or some sort of analytics or I don't know, will will run into the problems we've been running into. Mm -hmm. And um, this might make up for an interesting article that then maybe doesn't get like, super targeted traffic in terms of people reading the blog posts will not be signing up for useless right mm -hmm. useless right away but they might be working at the company that might be um a and i think it's one uh, it's one of those customer. that yeah builds trust that you know the engineering behind it is good and that you can trust the numbers you're getting from user list because you've you've made such a thoughtful process and and then explaining that in a blog post, I think you're right that if developers working for companies looking into, you know, more expensive emailing, so not more, but like high end, I guess, user list, it's like high end emailing solutions, then are like, you know, this fits into the brand, right? It's not a, you know, it's not the cheap free convert kit. Yeah. It's like the yeah. the really good one. And and I read that their reporting is like on point uh and to be yeah. trusted. And like I think it fits with the with the yeah with the brand um that you have that you write it up. So that's yeah that's one thing we've been thinking about. Um <laughs> honestly we've been planning to write like more technical content since mm -hmm. basically day day one and it never happened. Yeah. Like there's not always been something else. Um but this one feels like it might be a good candidate. One for one, like it's not core product. Like it's not like we're giving away trade secrets of sorts. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, yeah. Like this is I'm proud of this implementation and it's better than other implementations. But if someone implements the same thing in their product, it's not going to make or break uh our position in the market, I guess. Um and the other thing is I'm I will be speaking at Rail SAS in Athens in June. And I'm not sure I even mentioned that, but maybe I no. did. Oh maybe. Um but uh my plan is to talk about this particular thing. So I've yeah. I've got to write it up somehow anyways. Yeah. So it feels like this is an opportunity to It's to good squeeze, practice. And if you do it... a blog post and a talk <laughs> from this one. And if you do it now, at least for me, it would have been, like it would have been a good process to be like, okay, I'm gonna have this blog post out by the end of April, because then you've kind of written all your thoughts, and then it will mature for a month, you know, and then you craft your talk. It's gonna yeah. be a much more mature version of whatever you wrote, just that's, by virtue the of the time. Now. Yeah, you don't even have to yeah. like work on it. You just just by virtue of there being that time and you've started that process, it's gonna be end up being better. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the thinking. So yeah, that's a that's a decent chance we'll just do that, uh, because it just makes sense. Especially like if I don't start working on that talk now by writing down things, 
I will be starting from scratch uh, in May or yeah. um, end of May, and that's probably not a good thing. <laughs> so better start it now while it's still top of mind. Yeah. Well, we're going to be on lookout for it end of, May, end, end of <laughs> April. You get a gold star if it's out before the end of April. I try. No promises. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know if you are motivated yeah. by emoji gold stars, but I'll hand, I'll hand it to you if you have it out by the end of April. <laughs> Yeah, but that that also means it's just a week, right? Uh, because I this oh my week God, I it's April almost over. Oh, 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 next week is already already the last week of April. So uh, okay. yeah, time time moves fast. So, but then time again, I mean, in theory, fast. in theory, if we, a week should be plenty um, mm -hmm. to do this. But uh, that assumes that nothing else is happening, and I don't like I can focus on on just this for a day or two. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, but it also means probably, that maybe you can just write right it down. And as you said, like, I don't think, or as you said, it's not going to be like your super, it's not where you're going to get the super targeted traffic. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be the the bestest blog post there has ever been. It just needs to be your thought on the subject. And then you can go back after the yeah. talk and refine it because then you probably have gotten questions, you know, at RailsConf. says. Right, Rails. Rails, Rails SAS, yeah. Rails SAS. I should, I just should just not talk today. It's my <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe we should just uh, wrap this up and make this a super short episode. Super short. I just want to say, though, that, um, yeah, I did the outset announcement last week about being a developer advocate, which I landed on as my, my title. And then... <clears throat> That unlocked the memory from like four and a half years ago. I had to go in and find the Facebook event because it was the uh, university reunion. Uh, so I took two classes at university and kind of the first class I was with uh, that I am um, um, or two years. <laughs> so that the first year that I did most of my university degree with, we had a reunion and you had to like end these sentences. And maybe I said this last time and that's how I remembered it. But anyway, I... Yeah. And then I remembered like, oh, it's four year, four and a half years ago. I wrote in five years, I'll be a developer advocate, which is kind of insane. Did I tell this story yeah. last time? You, you told I the did? story last time. Yeah. Yes. But I had to check the date though, because I don't think I remember the date. And I went in and found the Facebook event and it was four and a half <laughs> years ago to the day, which was kind of, I thought that was kind of interesting. But anyway, yeah. so that's the universe that's for you. Incidents. Mm hmm. Are you going to, or do we know anything about MicroConf Europe this year? Um, I think it's again in, in autumn, like October or something like that. Yeah, but it's I not. think it's beginning of October and I think it's in Lisbon. Okay, nice. Because now I I'm going to go. Anything, now I have a reason to go, like a proper reason right, to go. Yes. And I have so much um, FOMO for the people who are doing MicroConf US right now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I, it's a good thing I'm not on Twitter that much anymore. So <laughs> I basically miss everything. Um, but yeah, uh, MicroConf Europe, I haven't made any plans yet, but if I can make it happen, I will make it happen uh, because it's, I mentioned it so many times, it's my favorite conference these days. So definitely yeah. planning to go. But I guess that's it. I'm gonna, I was, I was thinking that this would energize me and I could do a video. But I don't think my brain will be able to record a video right now. So I'm going to so go didn't back. Have, it, it didn't work. I mean, I feel energized, but I don't know if I will be coherent enough for a video. <laughs> yeah, so, maybe not a good idea. <laughs> so I think I'll go back to, to resting today um, and hopefully feel better by the end of this week. That would have been great. Yeah, uh, please get well soon and fast. Have a nice rest of your week. Thank you, you too, and see you around the interwebs. <laughs>